in the morning. We are a news broadcaster from Love FM. I'm Jack Ma. I'm Shishun. And I'm Carol. Today, our main topic is the Hurricane Maria. This Hurricane Maria has weakened to a Category 1 hurricane from Category 4 hurricane. Based on the CNN news, the East Coast brace for high winds and treacherous surf from Hurricane Maria, which was still churning in the Atlantic days after the storm caused widespread devastation in the Caribbean. Maria will weaken to a tropical storm by Tuesday night, according to the National Hurricane Center. The dangerous core of the storm is expected to move well east of the southeast coast of the United States during the next day or so. Maria maintained Category 1 status with sustained winds of 80 miles per hour on Monday, for Carster said. The good news is, it is expected to stay weak. We don't expect any more intensification as it goes north, said CNN meteorology Alison Chinchar. Then, as it starts to veer out toward the east, it is going to come into blocking mechanisms. This is good news. This prevents it from getting too close to the United States to actually have a direct landfall. North Carolina may bear the worst of the storm, as current forecasts show Maria brushing its coast late Tuesday into early Wednesday. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Burke Inlet north to the Virginia border, as well as for Albemarle and Palm Lico Sounds. A storm such watch is in effect for Cape Lookout to Duck. North Carolina Governor Roy Copper released a statement Monday urging coastal residents and tourists to be prepared for heavy ocean surf, deadly rip currents and possibly storm surge flooding. Visitors to our beaches should stay out of the water during this dangerous condition and wait until Maria passes, he said. Coastal residents should make sure they are ready and their homes are prepared. Along with gusty winds, rip currents will impact a large area of the east coast, Chincha said. The North Carolina coast may also experience flooding and beaches erosion as well as a storm surge. Although it is not currently predicted to make landfall along the coast, Maria is the third hurricane to affect the United States in the last month. Red currents along the beaches of North and South Carolina prompted 25 rescues Saturday. According to National Weather Service meteorology team Armstrong in Wilmington, as far north as New Jersey, where Belma Mayor Matt Doherty tweeted there were 35 rescues from strong weekend currents, the effect of hurricane were beginning to be felt. Regardless of the exact forecast track, the storm is so big that tropical storm force wind could reach a portion of the North Carolina coast by midweek, the NHC said. Hurricane frost winds extend outward up to 16 miles from the center of the storm, the NHC said, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 230 miles. The five-day tracking model shows Maria maintaining hurricane strength through Tuesday as it makes its way north before turning northeast and heading further out into the Atlantic. Millions of people in the Caribbean are still reeling from Hurricane Maria's devastation. At least 10 people were killed in Puerto Rico, where much the U.S. territory is without power and many are without water. Days after the storm destroyed the island of Dominica, killing at least 15 people there, it also hammered the Dominican Republic, the U.S. Virgin Island, and the Turks and Caicos. A British Overseas Territory. Subsequently, on September 12th, Apple Incorporated has finally launched the iPhone X and X Plus. However, what consumers were unexpected is that Apple also revealed a brand new iPhone model, which is called the iPhone 10. The 10 in the iPhone 10 is written as X. Most of the people will pronounce it as iPhone X, but it is actually called the iPhone 10. Whereas the X means 10 in the Roman tablet, the iPhone 10 will be available in the market on 3rd of November. Some of the Apple fans argue that the brand new look for iPhone 10 is not on expectation, whereas the others remain neutral. 
This is because the icon for previous iPhone series is the home button key. However, in the iPhone 10, this feature had been cancelled and it has more advanced features like facial recognition and a fancy display. Whatever it is, the iPhone 10 is haven't launched yet. Thus, the evaluation of this brand new smartphones is still remaining unknown. Next, just before radio broadcasting, our Love FM broadcasting station has just received a transportation circumstance at Songbanken and Pusat Gemilang traffic light junction here. There was an accident happened between an ambulance and a group of motorcycles. Two drivers responding to a green traffic light didn't notice an ambulance rushing through the junction for duty. The ambulance being hit by a Brodoa Kanjir and Honda CD was then hit to the one-way lane and bumped into a group of motorcyclists. Fortunately, the accident didn't bring to any death. However, two of the motorcyclists were badly damaged. The accident had led to a traffic jam along the Jalan Sombangkeng. The Jalan Sombangkeng is located near to the highway Jalan Bukit Tengah and North-South Expressway. Please do not take a view when passing by the spot as it will slow down the traffic. We also remind you to be careful along your journey on the road. Well, apart from that, Taylor Swift has just released her new album, Reputation. Yeah, that means you can finally shake it off with Swift. On August 25th, Taylor Swift has released her first new single song from the album, which is named Look What You Make Me Do. This song, notch 19 million of views within 24 hours on YouTube, easily break the record of Chain Smokers and Coldplay collaboration, something just like this. Well, however, some felt the song was a disrespect toward Kenya West, whom Taylor Swift has had issues with in the past. Last year, the feud hit a new height when West's wife, Kim Kardashian, released audio recordings that she said proved Swift gave Wes the go-ahead for a Swift reference in the song Famous. So, what do you think about it? Here come the Look What You Made Me Do by Taylor Swift and please remember to stay tuned to our Love FM News at 12pm. <laughs> <laughs> 